No kitty, those are my ESP32s. Okay, so you're new with microcontrollers. You maybe messed around with a, say, an Uno R3 or a Pro Micro. You might have even messed around with a ESP8266. And now you keep hearing about these ESP32s and you're wondering, should I get one? Maybe you don't know the difference, why this is better than the other alternatives. Um, I will break it down for you in plain English. So, the Arduino is a little champ. It, it has, this, at least the Pro Micro here, has four analog pins, five volt um, pin logic, and all that. So, basically, this can hook up to anything five volt. You got a lot of pins, a lot of analog pins. The ESP8266, you only have one analog pin. So, you lose a lot of analog but you gain Wi-Fi built-in so you don't need any external shields or anything like you would need for an R1 here there's no shield required it's just built-in so the next phase is the 32 ESP32 this has a few more analog pins you you get more than four I believe or around there um, it's also a 30 pin layout in plain English, this is better because it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in and also Bluetooth low energy. So what that means for people like us is we can incorporate Bluetooth and Wi-Fi into our projects from the same board. We don't need a different board, we don't need a shield, we don't need anything going on. All in the code we can do Wi-Fi Bluetooth. And also the usual microcontroller stuff like move servos and motors and read sensors and all that so the logical step is you you do want to get yourself one of these it might not be as supported as these yet it's not hasn't been out as long yet so it's not as many libraries people are, are still trying to figure this thing out fully but I just wanted to explain a little of the differences before I start giving you examples for this because say I, I start making stuff with this and you don't have one of these and you're like well I'm just not gonna watch anymore don't be discouraged um, they're only about I got this for about 11 bucks on Amazon so they're not expensive they're not super expensive maybe compared to like a three dollar clone of a, of a pro micro or something but they are you know you're, you're getting a lot for that eleven dollars these also have dual cores, dual core processors. And what that means in English is you have two different processors to, to play with. You can run code independently on each. So you can have one, one processor running you know, your main code, the other one doing background stuff, and not slowing the other processes down because instead of sharing that, instead of having to, to, to share that load, you're splitting it up and they're just firing on two cylinders now. So, programming wise, that's very handy. You're gonna see a little increase in speed as well. Say you run an a uh, program or something you made for this, the old uh, 8266, and I bet you if you run that same thing here and it actually works, you're gonna see slight increase in, in speed. But uh, that's given because these processors are a little stronger also. So, so in um. In plain English terms, get yourself one of these, especially if you already have a, a 8266. This is like, you know, the big brother. Um, if you're familiar with Arduino, you could still use these in Arduino IDE. So w when you follow my examples, I'll be doing them all in Arduino IDE. That's what I like prefer to work with because it's the easiest to get people into right away. So I hope this explained a little about it for you, and um, I can't wait to make some projects for you guys and see what we can do with this maybe unlock its true power I definitely want to get two of these talking to each other and to a phone and doing some crazy projects like that maybe get into light um, applications for Android making like something simple 
but uh, we'll see when time goes on. I'm going to have to, as you see, I just got these, so I'm going to have to try to figure it out myself, too. I'm I'm a noob at these things, too, you know? That's why I'd, I'd rather you guys listen to me, too, because I'm out here with you. And uh, you can leave questions, comments, like, subscribe, message me even, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. So um, I hope this video helped you a little, and stay tuned for some great uh, new projects coming out with the ESP32 very soon. Bye, guys.